Consequent upon the letter from the state governor, two bills were sent to the parliament. The first is a bill for a law to make provision for the establishment of a university and the other a bill for a law to make provision for the establishment of a university of education at Ekiadolo. However, both bills were given their first reading after rules 20, 42 and 43 were relaxed, thereby paving the way for the second reading, which is billed to commence on Tuesday, 25th March 2014. Also at plenary, the House entertained the appearance of the Commissioner of Agriculture, Abdu Oru, who was summoned to brief the House on measures so far put in place to curb the menace of Fulani headsmen harassing indigents of various communities in Edo State who are armed with sophisticated weapons. We sent people to monitor them. They go to their camps and this pastoral, pastoral is a ordinarily so innocent and uniformed. We are heavily armed with brand new AK for sales. Brand new. And if there were not, if there is not some powerful force behind them, AK for sales is not a day gone. So we have reported against security forces in the past over this. We met them. I did a letter to the Commissioner of Police and the SSS, State Director of SSS. The speaker summed up deliberation this way. The state must invest in creating and creating an atmosphere where there will be clashes between the farmers and the cattle areas. The state government must be able, across the 18 local government, make provision for grazing areas and also for uh, uh, protection of the farmers in this state. Putting the deal together. Meiwa, the chairman, House Committee on Earth, Olorotomba Bamindele presented a report on a petition titled Appeal for the Release of Our 2010 Promotions, dated 10th July 2013, and signed by one L.E. Ikpamusa and several others. The House Standing Committee on Works Chairman Osasimende Sunday also presented a report. City continues. A Fosa Wangwe reporting.